Gerard will be a huge part of it. Buddy Heald in the corner of Bamba. Maxi, the runner. He is good. Twice this year, he's had over 50. The guy can score. We'll delve into the Sixers' pre-Embiid injury. Their numbers were elite. Oubre Jr. cans a three. And he has looked really good the last five. Averaging 27, shooting 58% from the field and nearly half of his threes. Another three by Oubre Jr. He is one of the best in the NBA, that is for sure. Statistically speaking as well, not just an opinion. And Terrence Mann is going to make it only that much better. The unorthodox shooting style of campaign is still very effective against the Clippers. 22 and 20 in the second and third quarters of that last game already giving up 38 points to Philly. It's the most that they have scored in a quarter. Now 41. George draws a crowd. Throws it right to the hands of K.J. Mark. Power play here for the Sixers. Back to Martin. He can stuff it. The reservation will be intact if that continues in the second half. Harris tries to drive on Harton. Makes a swipe. Loose ball pinballed around. The Clippers can go two for one. Maxi can make things happen in a hurry, however. Cut off by George. Not there. And a nice play to end the first half for the Clippers. But the damage wins when trailing by 15 or more. Just a win behind the Sacramento Kings. And now George leaking out with Harris to beat. Lays it in. It's a one-point game. Clippers 7 of 19 from 3 this afternoon. Tyrese Maxey lays it in for Philadelphia. Well, he's turned it around. No question about it. For about six weeks, didn't look like himself. And now he looks like the Paul George. We need him to be healed for three. It's good again. Maxi. Drifting, missing. Oubre Jr. back out there after going back to the locker room and lays it in. Crushing into Zoo, floats it up and floats it in. It's a 9-3 run for Philadelphia. 79-75. I don't know if you saw Nick Nurse's reaction, by, but that's the second time. And the drive and the finish that time by Max. It's the second time the Clippers have gotten a layup in front of them. Maxi for three. And Brandon Boston are out there. Maxi for three. Leonard with a rebound. Clippers down by six and flails his legs, doesn't get a whistle. Boston is back. Martin blocked from behind. Another block by Coffey. The Clippers have numbers if they hurry. After pumping knees on Friday in Portland. Maxi around Boston and lays it in. Boy, that was a quick little shimmy. Clippers trail by five. Maxi on the wing for three. It's good, and so is he. Maxi puts the Sixers out in front. You have to get shots at the basket when you come down. If you turn it over and throw it away, you're not going to have an opportunity to catch him. Plumley with the re Plumley with the rebound. Botches the handoff. Boy, a tough sequence. Oh, an even tougher one with Maxi. Oh boy, my goodness, what a sequence for the Clippers. KJ Martin on the baseline. Great ball movement for Philadelphia. Eight to shoot for Maxi. Gets inside. That was something that did not happen in the first half. And now Maxi is in complete control. He's got 21. And what they did so well in the second and third quarter, not existent right now here in the fourth. Oh, my goodness. Maxi with 23. It's official. You can blame the start time if you want to. I am not. The Sixers haven't played the same time. They've been on the West Coast for a minute.